Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Final Cut Help. Today, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite transitions, which is the gradient wipe. It's a highly customizable transition inside of Final Cut, and what you do is you load up grayscale patterns to make your own customizable wipes. Let's see how it works. So I've got two shots just right in a row in a timeline, really straightforward stuff. Let's go ahead and click here on the transition point between the shots. Now you must select the transition point as well as make sure you have adequate handle for the dissolve. The handle is where the two clips overlap. So if you have two clips and you've edited them together, if you don't have any extra frames, then there's no room for the wipe to occur. What's really happening is they overlap, and then within the timeline, you've got that handle on both sides. If you want to check that out, an easy way to do that is to use your trimming tools and quickly spot check the clips. Let's go on over here and grab our slip tool and click on the shot. And we'll see that there is indeed handle on that shot and on this one as well. So we've got plenty of room for the dissolve to occur. If you don't, you're going to need to use that slip tool to slip the shot a bit or shorten the shot so you've got that overlap so the dissolve will work. Let's go ahead and click on the transition point and choose Effects. Video Transitions, Wipe, Gradient Wipe. Now, the Gradient Wipe, when you first apply it, is going to be pretty boring because it doesn't have any gradients loaded. So let's apply it and see what it looks like. And right about now, there it is. I'm really thinking Star Wars, but we don't want that simple left to right linear wipe, so let's customize it. Double click on the Gradient Wipe so it loads into the viewer. And you'll notice an empty well here. Now, that well is where you assign the gradient. So you have to drag in a graphic file. I've got one file here that you can download from over at Creative Cow or make your own using Photoshop or just do a search for grayscale patterns. Let's drag it in. It's this nice cloudy sort of texture and drop it into the well. And now we'll play that shot. Option P will play all frames. We'll see it nice and slow. And that was pretty cool. It did this nice transition using the grayscale pattern. If you look at this here, what happened is it went through the dark areas first and eventually got to the white areas. The only problem with that transition is it was a little bit rough, but that's okay. The gradient wipe can be customized, so let's tweak it a bit. Double click on the gradient wipe, and the first thing you should look at is the softness property. Taking that up will give you a nice, gentler transition. So here it is with increased softness. And you see we get a nice, gentle sort of cloud effect. Taking that softness slider all the way over will make it really wispy. And let's set this to a three second wipe. There we go. Option P to play all frames in slow motion. And there it is with that very gentle 100% soft transition. Now, the 100% slider was a little bit much for my taste, so let's back that off somewhere towards the middle again. I'm going to go with about 40. And we'll do an option R to render that. Forces it to render all those real-time frames. And here we go. Let's watch it in real time. Nice, soft, gentle transition. Now, piece of cake. Let's jump over to Photoshop, make one more pattern really quick, show you how this works. I'm going to switch over to Photoshop. You can use any version of Photoshop, it doesn't matter. And choose File New and simply grab a video preset that matches what you're using. Now, the gradients can go up or down in size, so it really doesn't matter, but just try to use a video size frame. Let's go with an NTSC D1 clip here. And I'll click OK. And we'll grab our gradient tool, G for gradient, and we can just do a really quick linear wipe from black to white. I'll save that. There we go. And let's import that into Final Cut. Grab it, Command-I. There we go. We'll drag that into the well, and you'll see what it does is exactly the transition we told it to do. It goes from the darkest areas to the lightest areas. That works fine, but you say, well, I want it to go the other direction. No big deal. Simply click the invert box, and the wipe will be reversed, in this case going from right to left. 
lots of flexibility. Let's kick over to Photoshop one more time. We'll just open that up in the editor. And we'll grab our gradient tool. And this time we'll do a radial gradient from the center. There we go. Nice and long drag. Close, save. It updates and drop that in the well. And it does exactly what we told it to do. It goes from the outside edge inward. So, lots of flexibility. The gradient wipes can be infinitely customized. You can use organic patterns or just simply gradients from one color to another. Stick with black to white. It's the easiest to understand. And what it'll do is go from the darkest areas to the lightest areas inside the gradient when you use it with the transition. Really flexible. Gives you as many wipes as you want. Just spend a little time in Photoshop touching them up. In fact, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, be sure to check out our Photoshop for Video podcast, also brought to you here by Creative Cow. My name is Rich Harrington. Head on over to creativecow.net where you can check me out in the Final Cut form, answering questions, search for answers, check out some of our new tutorials. Thanks again for joining us.